ബി ജെ പിയെ കടന്നാക്രമിച്ച് നടൻ പ്രകാശ് രാജ് ബി ജെ പി എന്ന വൈറസിനെ കേരളത്തിൽ പ്രവേശിക്കാൻ അനുവദിക്കരുതെന്നും പ്രകാശ് രാജ് പറഞ്ഞു കേരളത്തിൽ പ്രതീക്ഷയുണ്ടെന്നും കേരളം പ്രചോദനമാണെന്നും അദ്ദേഹം അഭിപ്രായപ്പെട്ടു ബി ജെ പി പറയുന്നത് വികസനത്തെക്കുറിച്ചല്ലെന്നും സനാതന ധർമ്മത്തെക്കുറിച്ച് മാത്രമാണെന്നും പ്രകാശ് രാജ് ആരോപിച്ചു religion doesn't play a part here because they were the conscious of this country but today they say that these viruses are seeping in and people who have worked are great leaders, great statements are worried will they grow with their work share I have come to request the people of Kerala don't let us down because you have always been an inspiration You are the ones with high literary rate. You are the ones where there are boards outside shops, don't talk politics, that much of political awareness are with you, but how are you letting this virus inside? Why are you doing this to yourselves? This is not done. Because I know people of Kerala love me a lot and I love them a lot and it hurts to know But where I was supposed to be safe, where there is hope, where are these people coming down? And we need to understand the narrative. With a very heavy heart I am trying to explain in the narrative. You have to be careful. They are talking about, he comes from a party which says they are going to have char so far. When the Raja who is saying 400 plus, I can see, hear the shiver in his voice, he is afraid. If this fellow's party was confident of Char Sopar, why are they taking murderers, robbers, rapists into their party? Why are they buying MPs? Why are they breaking governments? Why does a non-BJP ruled state always have a problematic governor in this country? Why is he always figuring? He reminds me, this fellow's party reminds me of Hitler, you know, Hitler had this mass psychology. Wherein nobody can come near Rajau, the Rajau will walk, there will be flats, there will be people. People have to be outside the barricade to feel that somebody is coming. It is to mesmerize and array to. We have had more MLAs of a single party in the history of this country. They don't have that much, but they are building an array to. But today, they have denied South India, not only Kerala, not only Karnataka, even Tamil Nadu. With GST, with our tax money, we have been successful in bringing our population down. North has not been, but we are still sharing. per head. How much will you believe? Why does Raja who does not give money, their own money of any state where his party is not there? How can this man, his party, bring down governments which has not voted them? Every MP on this party's name you sent, I am telling lakhs and lakhs of voters, All your lakhs and lakhs of votes will become one vote for that Raja. It is your responsibility to see what sort of parliamentarians you need. He is one of those parliamentarians of Raja who's government. One parliamentarian who's standing for election actress says Subhash Chandra Bose was the first Prime Minister. There is one more parliamentarian who is standing for elections who acted in a television serial called Ram, who has taken himself very seriously. They think they can win. And as for your actress called Deva Malmiji, holding a sickle and giving a photo shoot of a farmer. And there were a lot of monkeys in her constituency. Her solution was, let us grow you know, fruit plants in the forest so that the monkeys will go away. And this fellow who cheats, who lies, 
to run a media house in Karnataka only to be the voice of the Raja. I had gone to his media house once because they keep asking me because I give interviews everywhere and I don't let it because I know what they want. Very recently, around six, seven months back, this man's channel was behind me. One interview, sir. One to one, sir. We will not edit anything, sir. I said, okay. I went for the interview. As I, as I was having my chai, tea, they said, sir, we are changing the format of the interview. It will be like arts ki adalat. I said, what is it? So 15 people from different political parties will come together and they will ask questions you have to answer. I said, okay. And I went inside the studio, there were 30 people. Majority with that kind of art. Two art with the hat, one JDS, two Congress. I knew I was walking into a trap. The Sanatan Dharma debate was going on very big. For a moment I thought, should I leave? Because this is not what I came in. Then I realized, these are the people I have to talk to. These are the people I have to have a conversation. I said, Chalo Shuruko. They started and one fellow said, said, even I have a question. I said, stand up. And to my utter surprise, I realized a week back, he had threatened to behead me on a Facebook. I said, you are the most important fellow, please come here, sit. They had no question on development. They had only question of Sanatan Dharma. You are born to Sanatan Dharma. I said, no, I am born to my mother and father. <laughs> Check your biologist. Said, One and a half hours I picked them out. And I called this man and said, sorry boss, not your day anymore. So this is what we have to be worried about. That what sort of a parliamentarians are we? And the people of the world, see, I don't sit on the fence. Yes, I have come to talk on behalf of Shishita.